Hey guys, welcome back. I know we have a very weird angle going on here, but that is okay. We're gonna continue showing more miscellaneous toys and just have fun. So the next one, this came out years ago. There was like a big plastic piece and a little toy on the inside from the Hercules collection. This is Baby Pegasus, um, one of my favorites from that cartoon was the Pegasus, obviously. He's so cute. Toys are pretty cool too, but I don't have any of the pieces anymore, I don't think. But I love baby Pegasus because I love Pegasuses and unicorns and mermaids. I was into that long before it became a thing. I just want to make the announcement because everybody's like, ah, I love unicorns. I loved them first. So this one came from Tarzan. And I do not remember the name of the character. Again, it's not one of my favorite movies but you wind him up and he goes he moves back and forth like this and he makes music with his barrel I'm not sure if we're gonna keep this one or not I haven't decided but it's a cool toy I don't remember the name of it he said this is kind of like we're going through and picking and choosing what we're keeping and what we're not keeping that's kind of the goal here next I love this one so this one I think came from Wendy's this is came out in, it says 2000 2003 so it is Kirby and I don't remember what game had come out at the time but it's kind of like a um, magic eight ball oh my god it's so cute you can hear me say that a lot I don't remember the game that he was associated with okay let's ask him something silly um Kirby, um, hmm. I don't know what to ask you. Ask Lee. He's cute though, isn't he? I love Kirby. Kirby was a fun game growing up. I really enjoyed that game. Um, next, I got a bunch of little miscellaneous things here, so I'm just going to show you. There was a pocket collection that was jewelry themed. Um, at McDonald's years ago. This one came out in 1994 and it is a little ring. I wanted this so bad. I actually found this like in a parking lot. It was weird. Like it was the one I really, really wanted and I could never find it. And then like not long after I found it in mud in a parking lot somewhere. So it's little Polly and she's a ballerina inside this little flower and it's uh, little leaves. I still really love this piece. Man, it's really loud outside, guys. I'm sorry. Isn't that cute? I love that one. Let me show you some more miscellaneous things. This is another miscellaneous Barbie. I don't know where she came from. Uh, she came out later on. I don't know if this is Rapunzel or if she's supposed to be a depiction of Cinderella. If you guys know, let me know. Because I really am not sure. I like, I will do a collection of my original McDonald's Barbies later. Um, she came out much later on, so she's going to go on, over there. Um, should we show you next? Oh, this one I think was, what was the name of this movie? Escape from Camelot? I do not remember the name of it, but this character was very popular from that movie. It's something Camelot. The little guy and the big guy and you move his legs up and he runs it's a cute little dragon hey Des you want to come say hi that I'm not sure if we're gonna keep you or not kind of like you we'll we'll put him in the maybe pile he's a maybe keeper okay next one is from Bugs Life this is Heimlich and you wind up Heimlich and he crawls. And this one came out. It doesn't say. I don't remember. I love the movie. Cute toy though. So that I think might go in the cell pile. So who else should I show you? Um. Hmm. Okay. I will show you. I have from. This is pretty cool. This is called the Backstreet Boy Project. And 
they had this like comic book set that they came out with did i just like move a bunch of stuff i did and each one had like a different character so i'll show you this one first this is the howie one i remember you could only get the comic book online at the time and my mother wouldn't purchase things online she was so against it so mad i really wanted that comic book but i think this is supposed to be like a chinese monk kind of outfit and then you remove his outfit and how he is dressed like does he light up uh, i think he might have at one point hey dustin come visit it's very interesting i'm actually shocked that these came out where did, what, where did this toy come from burger king which is kind of interesting because i wouldn't think that all kids like this type of toy like especially if this is a boy that got this i don't think they would have been happy getting a backstreet boy in their happy meal next is the brian one and of course he's got his flame because he's i guess throwing his basketball really fast so it's got flames coming off it okay this Another interesting little outfit. Things are kind of confused me now looking at them. Nice desk, I know. And then I have his setup, like I still have him in the package. Anthony had gotten him and obviously didn't like him. My brother and he has his little like hoop here. It's called the Backstreet Project. And there was the backstreetproject.com. I don't entirely understand what that means. I guess it had to do with the comic book at the time. That's the character on the back there. I gotta look these guys up. I don't know. Interesting, in my opinion. What's next? I'm gonna show you some more of these miscellaneous things I got over here. So this one's probably gonna go in the sale pile too. This was from it was the Doug show, but not the original Doug. I forget what that was called. And I forget the name of this monster, too. All I know that it was a collection that came out from McDonald's. It's the... It's not Rugrats. It's like... I know Rugrats is called All Grown Up. I forgot what the other one was called. This is actually supposed to like hold your pages on your book. I'll have to look them up. I forget the name of this monster. It's very interesting. It's going in that pile right there. I know, Desi. Next item is from Peter Pan. This set was awesome. So this is the Gator. I had Tinkerbell at one point. I have no idea where she went. And if you move his tail back and forth, he does the click sound. The dreaded click that, you know, Captain Hook didn't like. And he has a compass in there. Which is really cool. It's a pretty cool toy. I like him. He's very detailed. It doesn't want to focus though. That's the bad thing about this camera is getting it to focus. Very cute. Like that one a lot. So the next one I will show you is this one. She's a miscellaneous one as well. This collection came out. There was like two of like every different set. Um, she had a flounder that you could get. There was a Winnie the Pooh set that you could get. I don't remember the name of the collection, but she did come out through McDonald's. This came from The Little Mermaid 2. And this is Melody. This is Ariel's daughter. And you can see she has a strong resemblance. She has the eyes of Ariel, but her hair is definitely Eric. I see a lot of Eric in there. And this is when she made a bargain with Sea-Wish to be a mermaid. I'm actually not a huge fan of this movie. I thought I would love it more than I did. But what can you do? The original was definitely way better. In my opinion. I might put you in the cell pile too, actually. We're going through a lot today. Um, next one is a baby triceratop. You see a, a theme here? 
I definitely love my Triceratops. This is a little hatchling. I don't know, I, I'm more than positive this also came from either one of those science stores that were in the malls back in the day, or if we went to another museum. But I definitely liked, I did go through the dinosaur phase like every other kid did, especially when Jurassic Park came out. Um, but I always loved the Triceratops. They were my favorite. Anyway guys, we're gonna get going. We're at the 10 minute mark and we don't wanna go over that. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.